Number 13 asks us to match each of the following equations with the type of function. And the three types of functions that we're looking at are once again linear, quadratic, and exponential functions. A linear function can be written in the form y equal mx plus b, that's slope intercept form, or ax plus by equals c, which is standard form. The key that makes it a linear function is that there's an x and a y with no exponents. And it's possible too that there could just be like x equals three or y equals five. It's okay if there's just one letter, but the key is they're just plain x, plain y. There's no exponents, there's no square roots, nothing fancy going on, just x's, y's, and numbers. Those are linear functions. For a quadratic function, there's actually three forms that a quadratic can be, but the key for a quadratic is that it's gonna have an x squared. The most common type of quadratic function is one that's written in standard form, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. It's also possible, though, that our quadratic would be in vertex form. We learned about this back in lesson 8.2, y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. And then the last format that I put here is intercept form, or factor form, and we just learned about that in lesson 8.4. Finally, an exponential function is a function that can be written in the form y equals a times b to the x. The key with an exponential function is that x is in the exponent. So with an exponential function, your variable has to be in an exponent. This first example, we have y equals 3 times 2 to the x power. Because that x is an exponent, that makes this first one exponential. The next graph we can see has x minus 5 in parentheses squared. That's your vertex form. Here's the h and the k and the a value. This is a quadratic. The next equation is 5x minus 2y equal 30. You can see that matches this format, ax plus by equal c. It's a linear function in standard form. You're going to pick linear from the matching choices. Here we have f of x equals 3x squared minus 4x plus 5. The key is it has that x squared which makes it quadratic. y equals 2 thirds x minus 8. You'll notice that's in the form y equals mx plus b. There's just an x and a y, no exponents. That makes this another linear function. And finally, the last one here, we have 4 times 1 half to the x power. Because the x is in the exponent, that makes this exponential.